Subtask roll-up to issue formulas are used for the summation or averaging of numeric fields within subtasks and the storage of resulting values within the parent ticket. Starting from the main abacus page, I'll need to select the button underneath the numeric formula section labeled Create Formula. Next, I'll need to click on the bolded text labeled Subtask Rollup to Issue. This screen is where I will edit the specifics of this formula. I'll need to give this formula a descriptive name. For this example, I want to calculate the total number of orders within the subtasks of an issue. To do this, I'll select Orders as the subtask field I want to add together, and Sum as the function I want to apply to those fields. For the results, I'll choose the field Order Total. This will be the field in the parent ticket that will reflect the summation of the subtasks. Lastly, I'll need to save the formula by clicking the Save Formula button. Next, I'll move on to creating the execution plan. I'll need to specify when I want the plan to execute the formula. For the example, I want that to be whenever an issue is created or updated. Once the plan is saved, I'll move on to testing out the formula in JIRA. I'll head back and view the ticket that I created earlier. Within this ticket, I'll create a subtask and make sure to fill in the orders field with a number. For this example, I'll choose the number 4. Once I click the Create button and move back to viewing the parent ticket, I can see that the subtask has been summated to the result field I specified back during formula creation, order total. If I create another subtask, and this time specify the number 3 in the orders field, once I save it, I can see in the parent ticket that the orders total has jumped from 4 to 7, illustrating the effects of summating those subtask fields within the issue.